37, that's a nice rep. That's a nice rep yeah. right there. You know, when we got here, our, our goal was to go to a bowl game. And now that's an expectation. I think the chemistry that we have right now, when you walk into our locker room and you see these amazing group of young men, uh, they, they live for each other. Uh, when I arrived as a freshman, uh, that was actually the first year we went to the bowl game. And the first half of that season started off really rough. But as Coach Baylor said, uh, the guys live for each other. You could just see the team bond together and they were like, we're not gonna finish this way. You know, we started practicing like it was our last week, it was our last game, because we weren't gonna be guaranteed anything after that, that, that actual season ended. And now that we've had success a number of years in a row, we expect a bowl game, we expect to win our side of the conference, we expect to go and play for a conference USA for the title. The standard of winning has been set by Coach Baylor. Uh, He's done a great job of surrounding us with people that want to win, uh, surrounding us with positive attitudes, surrounding us with uh, talent. Everyone, everyone on the team is brothers. We don't have the drama and the, the individuality that you see at other schools. Everyone has one similar goal, and that's to win conference, to be the best team that we can be. Uh, this team means the world to me. Uh, I've been here for five years, and just seeing where we came from, uh, the guys who've been here, um, you, know, you know, who have been here through the fire with us from the season when we went eight and four, I mean four and eight, excuse me, to, you know, winning the Hawaii Bowl and our third straight bowl. We have a conference championship, three bowls in a row. Like, the bowls are expectations now, and we're getting to the point where conference championships are going to be expectations too. You know, and for us to make a jump, we need to, you talk to our football team now, you talk to our leaders now, We've got to jump up and beat a Baylor and beat a Texas or beat a and m for that next step. You know, the, the fact that we've gone to three straight bowls, you know, we have a group of seniors next year that for the first time in the history of Rice could possibly go to four straight bowl games. And it's just, they're, they're the greatest young men on the, on the planet. And I mean that, it's an amazing, humbling job. We want to play with the big boys. You know, we want to play Texas, we want to play Baylor this year. That, that gets me excited. You know, you want to play the best and now, with, uh, with how we, we've transformed since then. And over the years I've been here, it's, it's a play to win. You know, we don't care, we're not scared. You put on pads, we put on pads, and we just go. You know, we're known for being the nice guys. And I don't think we're really gonna carry that into this season. I think that it's gonna be a little bit nastier than what it was in the past. I think it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit more a gritty. Defense will be fast and very aggressive. And I mean, as, as a fan, that's what you love to see. You love to see an aggressive, fast defense. If you're not at Rush Stadium on Saturdays watching us play, getting down, getting dirty, you're missing out. You're missing out on great young men on and off the field fighting for their colors. The opportunity to come watch the smartest guys in Division I football play football every Saturday in a historic Rice Stadium in the greatest city in the world, then what are you doing? There's something different about Rice football. We don't do it for the camera, we don't do it for the glitz and the glory and everything. We do it because we love it and we do it because we love the people that are around us. This is Rice football.